welcome to the Scratch Kids Academy. We are back with some more Children of Rayfield, which is far more hilarious than I ever expected when we first had it for Session Zero, which I love. Um, so before I hand over to Holly, I will just uh, quickly say a few things. Uh, please check out the links coming up in chat. That includes, um, what's we call it, a link to our Discord. There is a channel purely for this game and we'd love to hear what you think. If you've missed out on anything, head over to YouTube. We have all of our games and playlists and you can catch up, check them out, whatever it is you want to do. Um, also, um, the next season is fast approaching. Um, so if you want to um, get in one of the viewer games or something, please drop us right at the DM. Um, also a huge, huge thank you to our wonderful sponsors in the form of Mage Hand Press. Uh, you will have seen, uh, I think Scrat is currently on the pirate section of Mage Hand Press right now, Mage Hand Mondays, which is, I live for pirates. Um, they also have released Dark Matter, which if you love D&D &D and you love space, smush them together and that's Dark Matter. It's just one of the best things ever. Uh, so please go check that out. Um, also, uh, Hero Forge, which you would have seen on screen the small video before we started. They have destroyed all of their goals. They're approaching the two million mark. They are about to release kobolds, I believe, and they're doing some seriously amazing stuff. And there's loads more to unlock, so please go and check that out as well. And last but certainly not least, also the deck of many. Something which I'm going to say now, Scrap, please could you pass me the cards for the deck of many because I don't have them in my possession right now. However, they are magic moving spell cards. You may see them um, appear um, if the hype train gets going um, to affect the story, some really awesome things. And also they created Humblewood and word on the street as they say is there might be a Humblewood campaign next season. So keep an eye out for that. Um, otherwise, I am going to pass over to Holly. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Um, I'm Holly. I'm Sage Ophelia here on Tuesdays and on Twitter uh, when I remember it's there. Um, I am going to be babysitting this lovely menagerie of children and it's going to be fun. I don't have anything sinister at all planned despite the horrible music. Totally all, all smiles and flowers here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pass it next to me to V's News. Oh, hi. Hey there, I'm John, aka Bees News, pretty much everywhere on the internet. Uh, I play Zephyrin, the uh, Mark of Shadow elf rogue. Uh, a little bit of multi-class and a little fighter in there because he's uh, he's got a little protective of his group. Wasn't the path I originally planned for the character, but hey, things get uh, thrown off. Uh, I think last time we ended on his ship, so he's kind of he's in his element right now. But um, yeah, so we're gonna. I have no idea where we're going from here, so find out. But you you have experience on the ship, aren't you supposed to be guiding us? It's not my ship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, passing on down, we have a blank space down there um, where Lydia usually is. Uh, you can find Lydia at Lydia Heels on Twitter. Um, I don't know that she has any projects she's working on right now. Um, and we're going to go ahead and bump it over to Sassy with Sander. Hello, I am Jordan, aka Sassy with Sander, and I am here and ready to play some Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I am playing Fable, the emotionally volatile eight-year-old Aladrin, uh, who is currently moody broody at her brother because evidently everything is a lie. And <laughs> it's really, uh, I'm excited to get going for today. I'm not terrified at all for what is planned. Um, you can find me on Twitter. You can also find me at Jam Game Streams, where later tonight we'll be streaming Spyro. So check it out. Alrighty, and last but certainly not least, Alice. Oh, oh hi. hi. Um, I'm Alice. I'm also White Rabbit Pick on Twitter. You can find all the links uh, for me in chat. I also do loads of photography stuff as well. Um, that is heading. If you want to go and check that out, please head over to my Patreon and have a look. Um, I am playing Ronan, who is the tall, lanky, dares to lick a mushroom, but is terrified of the human faced worm kind of child of this group. And I want to say he's happy to be here. He's happy he's got his friends, but he seems to be pretty terrified and not ready for what's to come. Thank you, Hildy, for pushing that over. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I will hand back to Holly. Alrighty, so last episode on Children of Rofeld. <clears throat> um, we started off in the Queen's Chamber 
in the Feywild and we were in a giant sphere and we saw some of our loved ones entering in, um, led in by legend, presumably, uh, Fable's brother. And they couldn't hear what was being said, but they had a short conversation with the queen before the queen sent them on their way. Uh, some of us saw everybody traveling in a giant sphere along a silver ribbon, while some of us found ourselves in a very strange sort of mirror hallway um, full of portraits of two people that were the same on each side, um, connected with threads, uh, and some of them were broken. And we found a little girl crying. We found a gentlemen, uh, both of whom we'd met before in our adventures, but as different people, seemingly. And we also saw ourselves as older people, and um, then we started fighting kind of ourselves, and we meanwhile, uh, those of us who weren't in Spooky Chamber um, ended up in Spookier Chamber of a dilapidated castle full of weird things. Um, people and uh we ended up uh figuring it all out uh the girl and the guy uh twain and tampasia ended up coming over with uh those of you who were getting stabbed in your sleep and um we spent the night in the in the weird castle place and escaped in the morning question mark uh and found legend and legend was very upset that we were making noise and uh, we fled very hastily to a boat on which was uh, Shakirsi and started off uh, back towards Rofeld. She said it would take about a day and some of you decided to train, some of you decided to read um, and that is where we will pick up is on our journey down the river. See what's happening to see y'all. <laughs> So it's probably been, you've been traveling for a couple hours before Legend and Shakirsi stop training with you. And Shakirsi looks around, there's trees on either side of you. And she says, I think perhaps we should stop and, and try to get something to eat at some point. You, you want to do that in the Feywild. Is this the Feywild? No, um, we're back where we were in the material plane. Okay, so there's not going to be anything too weird to eat, right? And he's still like remembering everything <laughs> he's eaten in the Feywild and feels very uncomfortable about it. Probably not. Um, unless something has happened that I don't know about. Just rabbits or squirrels or maybe a deer berries can i hang over the edge and see if there's any fish sure um make a check perception or uh nature 17 okay um yeah you see some fishies down there um if there's any that are big enough and like close to the boat he's gonna do that thing where you lean over and I can't remember what it's called specifically, but you sort of move your hand very steadily underneath the fish to almost move with it, and then you flip it onto the boat. Okay, uh, make me a sleight of hand or an animal handling. <laughs> right, this is technically, I'm good in this, I'm plus six, but every time I'm good in something... Hey, okay. Chris! I can catch food. <laughs> So you have your hand under there, and the fish doesn't. <laughs> my cat is sniffing my hand. Uh, the fish <laughs> doesn't seem to notice you, and you're about to flip it up. And just as you go to flip it up, it darts forward a little bit. And when you flip it up, it flips up along with a, a fish. It's caught in its mouth, so you get a twofer. He, he sort of grabs it and very triumphantly turns around and it's like, da-da! Like a, a fish in each hand. And he looks very pleased with himself because it doesn't normally work. <laughs> Shakirsi gives you a, a little round of applause and says, right, so shall we 
anchor up and go kick it then. Okay. And he sort Sounds of still holding it in two hands as they're sort of like going. Like, <laughs> I'll tell you now, I don't know how to cook them. I only catch them. I can, oh. I can help with that. All right. Um, do you care to, and she takes that helm and, and looks at you, Zephyr, and do you care to weigh anchor? Uh, sure. And Zephyr to take the anchor and do, his, do what he's supposed to do. And <laughs> weigh it. <laughs> 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 About as much as a bushel and a half. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So you throw the anchor in, and she's able to steer you onto um, up against the shore. And you're going to have to sort of wade out, but it, it, it doesn't go like past your knees over to the shore. And uh, she and Legend go and you follow. Yeah, I think like Ronan jumps out just beforehand and helps <laughs> sort of pull the boat to the shore. A little bit, or not even to the shore, just in away from where it could get caught up in the current, and then realizes he's in water and does that really awkward walk out yeah. of the water because it feels really bad. <laughs> okay. Um, Winnie stays on board. Uh, she has been reading this book, uh, or trying to read this book pretty much the whole time, and you've seen her like mumbling different things and trying to like get it to to work but she just is getting more and more frustrated with it as it's just not really coming together and uh she tells you that she'll she'll just eat when uh you just bring something back but she really needs to figure out what this book is it could be the key to everything um legend takes an a hand axe and he says i'm gonna go cut some wood or find some sticks and you know, make us a fire. Um, okay. I mean, I'm happy to eat this as it is, but whatever. Like, as he, like, because Ronan can't cook, so he normally eats the fish straight out of the river. <laughs> um. Tabaxi's. Okay. Well, don't get too far without us. Um. I mean, I can wait here if you want me to. Okay. And he kind of taps his axe a few times before walking off into the forest and Shakirasi starts to gather some just shells and rocks to make a proper pit even though you're on a, the shore it doesn't really seem like anything is really going to spread from there but better safe than sorry um, Ronan's probably like squatted by the river and he's sort of taken his knife out and he's like get like descaling the fish and getting he know he's not that much of a savage. I mean I know how to cook it, but I know how to prepare it. And he's like <laughs> doing all of those bits and like dipping them in the water trying to make it as nice Zeph as he can. Zephyrin's gonna help out with this just because that's what his dad does and his dad has taught him how to do it, so he's gonna help out with that. Yeah, uh make some rolls. Um oh, I don't remember if one of you did fishing. Uh you can I did do fishing, yeah. yeah, you can do that, um, you can do survival. To be survival. Oh god, okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I chopped the, I chopped the right. bit off. <laughs> so since, since, since fishing is like a custom thing for this, I'm I'm rolling what just like a like an int roll and then adding oh god, <laughs> um, and then adding my proficiency or yeah. All right. Well. Um, so you're working at it, and, um, Fable, you're seeing them kind of try to prepare these fishes, and it's not good. Like, the fins are still attached, and you feel like probably they shouldn't be, um, it's still alive? <laughs> like... <laughs> Fable this whole time has been, like, moody broody, like, standing with her arms crossed, like, she's not gonna help. Except for maybe she'll help her friends, but not like her brother because she's mad at him. Um, and so like she sees <laughs> what's going on with the fish, and she's gonna come over and she's gonna be like, look at the one, whichever one is the worst, and be like, you know, I think Legend would really like that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the one. What did you roll? Um, I rolled nine. Yeah, it's better than me. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
like, <laughs> I'm like this one, and it's just this mangled dead fish. Like, okay, like he puts it like very carefully on this rock. <laughs> It flops slightly and <laughs> gasps. It does not look like it's in a good place. Um, Can I put and- it out of its misery? <laughs> yes, you may. <laughs> do I need to roll for that or just do it? Just do uh, it. Just do make it. me an attack roll just to make sure that we don't accidentally just like cut a thumb while we're doing this. <laughs> oh, uh- well, my luck. It's going to be a disaster. <laughs> I'm using my dagger. You're like our our collective luck. It's okay. Very wow, you killed that fish. <laughs> okay, so you're able to kill the fishes, and and they're they're you know they're dead now. They're not flopping around anymore. They're not any prettier. Um, it it, it was a good death. Uh, and died a good death. <laughs> and Shakirsi glances up from what she's doing. And doesn't make a face, but smiles politely at you. And one might presume she is p- perhaps thinking of curricula for the next uh, semester that might involve food and cooking. I think and... Zephyrin would like to, at this point, like look for berries nearby. <laughs> you know, some kind of... Yeah, uh, make me a perception or a survival. Uh, let's see. Which is better? <laughs> <laughs> the age-old question. Okay. Uh, you find some berries. Um, it's it's enough so that everyone can have berries. You're not familiar with them. Um, so they might be poisonous. They could be good. You're not sure. He's going to bring them to Shakirsi to check with her. Um, Shakirsi looks up from what she's doing. Yes? Um, I found these berries, but I'm not entirely sure if they're okay to eat. Can you take a look and I mean you're you're you probably know better than I would. Okay. She looks at them and, and kind of squints a little. Um not really yet. I haven't wandered this forest very much. Um they sort of look like blueberries, so maybe they're just blueberries. Okay. Uh, I think Zephyrin's gonna test one. <laughs> Oh god, here we go. <laughs> he's, hey. he's gonna find like the smallest one and he's gonna test it. <laughs> Lick it. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Make me a constitution oh, no. saving throw. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> this always goes so well for me. This is like Hunger Games. You ate Nightlock, it's over. Like <laughs> Um So it's it's kind of bitter. Um but it doesn't taste like poison bitter. You, it doesn't taste like a berry, you know, but um, it's definitely not like immediately making you pass out or vomit or you know. These aren't very good. I don't. I don't think we should eat these. <laughs> You're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> they taste kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we got fish! And he just points this, like, mangled thing on the rock that he's very pleased with. I just want to make sure we have enough food for everyone. Well, Leg- Legend will probably bring stuff back other than sticks, right? Uh, I don't know. Looks off into the forest. <laughs> Um, everybody make a perception check. Perception. Oh, I'm doing well today. Well, on perception checks at least. On perception checks, yeah. <laughs> okay. So um Ronin and Fable and uh, Zephyrin, you hear the sounds of crunching of leaves as feet are coming closer. Um, but Zephyrin, you also hear a weird series of pops coming off, uh, kind of slightly downriver from where you are, that does not sound like feet crunching along the ground. Do they sound like the pops that we've heard before when when 
shenanigans were about in the Feywild? Shenanigans. Um, <laughs> roll me an arcana. Uh, <laughs> Those int rolls. <laughs> and this, uh, one, this one does not get a does not get a plus, so that's a minus two. <laughs> it sounds unnatural. Um, you're not able to quite place it. You've heard a lot of unnatural sounds lately. Uh, okay, Zephyrin's going to look in the direction of where he heard the pops, and he's just he's going to just say, "I, I heard some pops. I don't. They don't sound natural. I, I don't like it." What do you mean? Uh, like, well, where? Like down that way, he's, he's gonna he's gonna point to you know the direction that he heard the pops, and you know like his his one hand's gonna kind of move a little bit toward his rapier, like not you know on it, but ready to draw it at a moment's notice if he needs to. Okay, give me a second. And like Ronan's is feeling pretty confident right now. He's got it a fish. He doesn't know it looks bad, but he feels good. And he goes down onto all fours in this grass and starts shuffling in the direction of where the sounds coming from, just to have a look. Like he doesn't want to get close. Mm -hmm. And he wants to see if he can figure out where the noise is coming from. Um, Shakirsi takes out a bow, not a pew bow, but like a violin bow. Um, and not a pew bow. <laughs> not, not a pew pew pew, pew bow. Pew. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and she points it after you, but doesn't cast anything. Uh, running, go ahead and make me a stealth check. Come on, Alice. You're good at these. Come on. Okay, so you hear a bit of shuffling uh, coming from that direction. Um, meanwhile, the rest of you see Legend shouldering out of the forest with a, a bundle of sticks. And Ronan, you are kind of half paying attention to Legend and half paying attention to where you're going and you step on a couple of twigs and the shuffling stops. And I also freeze. <laughs> you're gonna have to make me a save, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it's going to be a dexterity saving throw. Okay, technically, again, should be good at that. Stop saying that. <laughs> 12, I did it again. <laughs> Stop saying you're good at something before you make the roll. <laughs> oh my god, that it. it adds a fun element to it. <laughs> Okay, um, so you see a bolt whiz out of the forest and you take three points of light <laughs> damage. Lightning damage! Oh, I just, I just lost the new hit points I gained from level <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I think I jump up and go, ow! <laughs> like, more where that came from, a voice says from the forest. And I would like to charge towards the voice. I don't care what it is, I'm tackling it. <laughs> and I'd like to use an advantage, please. Okay, um, go ahead and make me an athletics or acrobatics. Does Zephyrin recognize the voice that called out? <laughs> um, you tackle and bowl Wait, oh. over <laughs> a, um, child. a child <laughs> <laughs> and you recognize the child from back in the castle and twain is sitting there very alarmed with his hands up very confused and she's wiggling underneath you just comp you're so much longer than she is and she just face for her and she says Get you! You uh, don't have me! And it's sort of looks like, oh, it's you! Hi! And he doesn't get off, but he's just looking down and looks up at, um, was it Twain? <laughs> I always mm -hmm. called him Swain there, yeah. Twain. And he's just like, hi! <laughs> sort of like looking, is now very happy to see both of them, but hasn't got off yet. Uh, at this point, Zephyr's run up and, oh, wait, oh. Look who it is! Like, I'm the greatest so... wizard ever! I will make you pay for this! See, now this is the sort of thing that makes me not want to get up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's alright. It's it's people we know. Um, it, it's them fellers from the, the bad place. 
me. And she like wiggles <laughs> harder. Like, sorry, sorry. And he starts to move. And uh, she sneezes and stands up and, and dusts herself off. <sighs> Well, I almost have that teleportation spell down. It's different here. And she seems very embarrassed. <laughs> and he looks at her. She like, has nothing to eat. What? She has nothing to eat. Uh, I just caught some fish. And he looks very pleased with himself. I think Zephyr realized that they didn't turn condition. out very well. Oh, um, hang on. I bet she looks at Fable and says, Where's the deer? <laughs> I'm guessing we don't hear this. <laughs> um, Fable and I will be right back. We're gonna find a bigger fish. And she looks yep. at Twain and says, you stay here, you're too noisy. And she <laughs> takes Fable off into the, uh, the forest and roll me a stealth. Bad feeling about that. <laughs> It'll be fine. Wait, ro- me roll stealth? Mm-hmm. Oh, we gotta catch ourselves a giant fish. Well. So, You're not doing well with stealth tonight. <laughs> she, like, is creeping and rustling kind of a bit. And you're also rustling as you're imitating her a bit. And you come across an elk that is staring right at you and paws the ground and throws its head and lowers its horns. You have an action. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, it is. Um, well, I mean, considering the fact I am currently mad at the world, um, I'm in summer, which means I have Firebolt! <laughs> which means I will use Firebolt. Okay. <laughs> but I gotta find it. I didn't bring my PHB today. Everything's <laughs> everywhere. I don't know what to do anymore. Not bold. Fire bold. Wow, maybe it doesn't exist. That would be really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I know it does, though. Give me one moment. Sorry. Fire is a very delicate subject. It, well, it is. Well, she's finding that just, I, for, I guess, for after this, can Zephyr having that bad feeling kind of like stealth and try to intervene and help them with this, help fend off this elk? Yeah, uh, Romeo stealth. Vernon doesn't get it. He's like, hi! <laughs> like, he's there with Twain, like, you are can very I, noisy. <laughs> can I burn an advantage on that? Yeah. Because plus nine stealth. <laughs> So it went up to plus nine this last level. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, um, okay, so you're able to follow behind them and, and they don't notice you. Um, Twain looks at Ronan and says, I know, I feel like maybe in another life, if I'd have paid a lot of attention, I'd be able to, you know, get through them woods, but I feel like I just kept getting us lost, you know? Like every time I thought I knew where we was going, it was like somewhere else. I mean, Thank all the gods that she was there. She's a, I mean, I know I'm supposed to be like the tough, you know, but man, she's something else. <laughs> Fable, do you hit? I'm rolling. Woo! What did I do? That is a nat 20. Literally. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. Hey! laughs> So this elk begins to charge and you just and it just like a meat like right between the horns hits it and spreads down and there's a nice like sear down the front of it and Zephyrin you're like creeping up silently behind <laughs> and you just see this deer like burst into flames and then <laughs> uh, any amount of damage you would have done to that elk would have. <laughs> Ronan's definitely <laughs> turned. Ronan's definitely turned back to back to the camp because he's like, "Oh, this is obviously under control." Looks at oh. Twain to see if he's coming, but just goes. <laughs> Twain Twain follows, and 
uh, Tempasia looks up at you, Fable, and if this were an anime, there'd be like sparkles coming out of her eyes. And she was like, you are such a good wizard. <laughs> Zephyr just stands up behind him and goes, okay, I guess I didn't need to help. <laughs> oh, are you here to help us drag this back? I am now. <laughs> All right, I burn him. I don't transport him. <laughs> <laughs> It does Same not way as I catch it. Cook. <laughs> <laughs> um, it doesn't smell good uh, at all. Um, it's burnt fur. <laughs> burnt fur. Uh, she will help you pull this back. Um, and she does a really great job. She is like deceptively strong under here. She's like, you're pulling it back, right? And then she's like, <laughs> Zephyr just look gives her this look like what are you <laughs> gonna help right and uh go ahead and make me enough to haul an elk carcass <laughs> okay so right. you're looking at her like oh my god and then you're like and maybe this elk like charring it took a lot of weight <laughs> off you're not sure but it is like super easy for you to lift and you're like maybe she's not all that maybe this is just <laughs> How this elk is structured. <laughs> structured. It's one of those. Hol yeah, <laughs> you know, half bird, half elk. Uh, and she's like hoisting it above her head, and you're sort of carrying it kind of comfortably. She's pretty short. And you make your you, everybody makes their way back to camp, and uh, legend has arranged the the sticks so that they're making a proper campfire. And he looks up when you arrive and roll me perception anyone who's looking at him I'm very suspicious of him constantly so <laughs> aren't we all I don't see much I think I'm like suspicious of everything to be fair You're pretty much it Ronan as he looks up he looks very the guy that you've been dealing with, uh, the mood that he's been in, has been very apologetic. Um, he's been very sad um, and worried. But as Legend looks up, he looks almost angry. Um, not troubled in that way, but troubled in a completely different way. And he looks across very quickly at all of you and goes back to making his fire and he stands um, up I think Ronan doesn't know how to deal with angry people so he deals with it how Rosie deals with him and he walks over and is like why are you being a grump excuse me you're being a grump why are you happy right now yeah, I just caught some fish. Look at them. And then he looks down at this rock and he's like, why, what's wrong with you? Well, I have to eat your fish. And he- You don't have to. He looks we at caught, them. We caught this? It. <laughs> well, it's a little better, I guess. What's wrong with my fish? Oh, <laughs> he suddenly looks over at this fish. He's like, I prepared this one especially for you. <laughs> like the one that Fable pointed out to him. And he's like, what's wrong with it? Have you ever butchered an animal before? Yes. Have you? Like, and he starts getting a bit like Larry at him. Uh, yes. What was your problem? I Is think it because you're stuck? You. Did you, like, get stuck? And then, well, you can go back to the same world if you want. He sighs and does the teenager, like, hair push out of his face and says, whatever, I just want to get back to town as soon as we can. Well, maybe if you put a smile on your face, it'll be an easier journey for all of us. So as he sort of, like, takes the <laughs> fish and walks away and sits and glares at him from the other side. He gives you a very arrogant smile and says, oh, now who's being a grump? He's just that, I'm sorry, it's contagious. <laughs> As he sort of like sits there, the fish isn't cooked and he's like, 
<laughs> eating this fish. Uh, there are definitely some scales and bones still in there as you eat the fish. Um, oh, he'll like keep a straight, he'll keep a straight, like crunching like that. <laughs> I mean, he'll keep a straight face. And he looks over at Fable and he's like, I don't like your brother. Fable looks back and goes, me neither. <laughs> and then he sort of offers, like, pats the ground next to her, <laughs> next to him to be like, just come sit with me so you don't have to sit near him. <laughs> I will accept, but she is first going to stake her claim on her, like, you know, thing that she exploded into flames because she's not sure and that was legend. <laughs> like, uh-uh. Um, so you, uh, stake your claim on that and, uh, Tempasia lights the fire and it starts going pretty much immediately and Twain's just like, Wow. Man, you childrens are so damn impressive. <laughs> and again, like, he looks at Twain because he's still used to the old Twain. He's like, leans over to Fable. He's like, adults are really weird. There's the more I learn about it. And I mean, that one points over at um, Legend. He's like, I don't understand. He doesn't look like a kid, but he's behaving like one. <laughs> and he sort of like takes another bite. I mean, he's like, I mean, I know. Maybe he had a spell on him, the same way we did. I don't think I was grumpy. Is that what happens when you get older? You just get grumpy. Yeah. I think everybody just gets grumpy. I mean, think about it. Like, if you wake mom and dad up way too early, they're grumpy and they're old. But we don't, we're not supposed to say yeah. that. No. Maybe he just started early. He's like looking over at legend. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not being quiet. Wow. <laughs> I'm just... He he sits down and he takes something out of his pack and starts eating it instead of eating while you're eating. And uh, I'm like, mmm, this fish is great. Like, it's probably awful, but he's still just gonna. He rolls his eyes as <laughs> he used to eat, and Twain <laughs> looks we'll over. Share. Huh? Fable will share the elk, and she's gonna like casually slide some to Ronan, like discreetly. <laughs> Big Zephyrin is going to take some before he starts eating himself. He's going to take some food that is, you know, edible, <laughs> and uh, he's just gonna he's gonna jump up and say, I'll, "I'll be right back. I'm gonna bring this to Winnie," and he's gonna just run to the boat, you know, drop off some food for Winnie, and then come running back and then eat himself. Okay. Eat food himself. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> um, <laughs> you you drop food off, and and she's still just reading this book, and gives you the vaguest of acknowledgments as you drop off the food. And um, I think Zephyr probably knows how she can get when she's like like into something. So he just you know drops it off, kind of maybe gives her a pat on the shoulder, and then runs back. And the rest of you are, are eating. Twain will accept some elk meat uh, very graciously. And um, Tempasia sits next to Fable and kind of looks at you and looks at the food and looks at you and then starts eating. <laughs> so what's everybody up to um, after this? We're going home. We were, yeah, we're, we're heading home at least for now, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do after that. Wait, um, our home? She says to Zephyrin. Well, our, I mean, not, um, not Baron's Wake. We moved to Rofeld not too long ago. Oh. oh New what? Rofeld. It's better than that other place. Oh, that was terrible. There are these weird, like, jerky people everywhere. Uh, not jerky like him and points to legend. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just like a <laughs> smile with like full of fish like <laughs> looking over in his direction like <laughs> oh yeah no the people the people where we're going are, are very nice how long have we lived there um i mean only a couple of weeks but you know people have people have taken us in pretty pretty easily are my parents dead no i, I would zephyr know that 
Um, sh- I believe she's your father's cousin. Yeah. So uh, I don't know how close your family is. Um, well, I mean, I think when Zephyrin talked to his father about it, he did, like, he, his father said that, like, the parents were still upset about it or something. Um, so I think he, he told me that they, they're probably not in Rofeld, they're probably somewhere else, but I think he, he'd say that as he, as far as he knows, they're still around. What if no one's back there when we get there? Where would they be? I don't know. I mean, you weren't back there, right? Well, no, but we were the only ones that were taken to the Feywild. How do you know? I mean, these two told us any points at Shakirsi and Legend. And Shakirsi nods, as far as we know. Um, it took a bit of time to figure that out, of course. She looks very worried for a moment, but it passes as she eats more of the elk. And she looks back in the direction of the boat and back to her meal. I do hope your parents get back all right. No, was it? It was just Ronan's, or uh, just Ronan's, Zephyrin's dad. I look. I, I looked over it at Ronan's <laughs> name. Uh, it was just. It was only Zephyrin's dad that was in the Feywild. His mom wasn't there, right? Correct. Okay. Well, my mom's. My. I mean, I think my dad is stuck in the Feywild, but my mom should be home. All right. So I'll probably just go back and wait for them once I drop you off. As as long as you have somewhere to stay, that's safe. Yeah. I mean, and if I mean, if anyone else needs to stay with us, I'm, sh- I'm sure we have room. Because and he looks at Ronan and and, and says, I, "I know. Um, I know. Uh, Rosie was is still in the Feywild. I think." Yeah, but I'm gonna get her back. And he looks oh, yeah. like pretty happy about it. You can see there's worry, but he's like, I'll get oh, her back. We will, but I mean, just, you know, until then, just, you know, if it's too lonely staying at home by yourself. Thank you. Zephyr and he stops his out. face into the next fish. Because <laughs> <laughs> no one seems to be eating the fish other than him. <laughs> Everyone's eating elk, so he's like, ha. <laughs> <laughs> Did Fable's parents were they in the Feywild as well, or was it just her brother? Um, it was just your brother. Okay. So your parents should be around, maybe. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Legend stands and stretches, and he. Looks around and says, I gotta take a leak. Then we should probably leave. And he walks over um, to the riverside to go pee in the lake. <laughs> like a classy man. Like he does it, and like Rowan is looking at his fish, like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Do you watch him? No! <laughs> Watch her rock at him. Fable would like to go push him into the. I was gonna say, like, I want to get a stick and just—he trod on my tail. This guy's going in. (laughs) Can I sneak with Fable? (laughs) Uh, Well, while they're doing that, can I do an insight check to see if I can have any clue, like, why he's suddenly so grumpy? Grumpy. Yeah, sure. Uh, Stealth, stealth insight. Also, how long are you waiting to go up behind him to push him in? Like, I feel like long enough for Fable and Ronan to look at each other and have a moment of like, yeah, <laughs> sort of a. I am both sort of go. So I'm using my stick. I'm not touching that guy after he's been in the river. <laughs> so, Zephyr, and you kind of watch him leave for a moment and start your pondering and well Ronan and Fable are looking at each other and you get up and there's sort of a clatter of, of bones and other such as you stand and then you start 
sneaking after. And when you when you see him, you notice he's only walked probably a couple feet away from where you're camped out and then just straight bolted onto the ship. And as you get closer to the ship, you see him grab Winnie and he crushes something in his hand and they both vanish. I scream. <laughs> there's like, <laughs> there's a very bright shining light and then there's just nothing where they were. I, st- I look at Fable like, what the hell is wrong with you, brother? <laughs> Fable is just gonna start crying. And I'm like, she's oh. like, I, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. It's <laughs> not a- <laughs> Except for hears the scream and, and just immediately busted out of his thoughts and runs up. What, what happened? What's wrong? He, 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 like, Rona's like putting like his arms around Fable like, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's like, the, 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 the grumpy talk guy, he, he, he took Winnie. Why? I don't know. <laughs> He's grumpy. I don't know what grumpy people do. Please take him, Winnie. Fable in tears will like stand under Ronan's like. <laughs> He is very much how tall he is. He's like, hug your head. (laughs) (laughs) She'll stand there for a second. And then like, she's going to kind of step away gently, not like push you away, but like gently separate, draw her sword. And she's going for the chicky lady who is with legend. And she's mad. (laughs) You say draw your sword or drop your sword? Oh. Draw it. Like it is ready to whack a fool. Uh, (laughs) Wait, what was her name? The Shakisi? The one we've never liked. (laughs) I just know her as that. (laughs) Yeah. I am just going to start screaming her name as loud as I possibly can, trailing through the plants with my sword. Someone hold my hair! <laughs> like, Ronan is looking at Zephyr and is like, I, um, she killed the moose, right? <laughs> she, she did. Okay, uh, we should probably, um, follow, because I'm pretty sure she kissed. She's gonna end up like that if we don't. <laughs> it sort of starts by walking through after her. Like, quickly it starts off at a walk, and then hearing the screaming and trying to say, oh, okay, we need to get faster. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, better get, get the hop on. <laughs> so you scream her name and start charging, um, <laughs> and make me a, uh, a perception. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. Um, you go, like, rampaging, yelling, screaming, crying uh, to where she was. Um, those of you that are lagging behind see that the moment that Fable screamed her name, Shakirsi just appeared right behind her as Fable runs off screaming and charging. <laughs> Shakirsi, like, looks very surprised and runs after her. <laughs> oh, <God>. See, <laughs> like, oh, she's chasing her. Like, I, I take out my stuff and run after Shakirsi, who's running after Fable, <laughs> just screaming Zephyr. behind you. <laughs> Zephyr's gonna chase after Ronan. and he's <laughs> like, he's he's just quiet. He's still just processing. You know, Winnie just got just got bamfed out of there, and he has no idea what's happening or what they're gonna do. And uh, and you reach the opening, Fable the Clearing, and she's not there. And Twain looks really concerned, confused, and Tempasia is standing up, like, fists at the ready, looking around, who, who am I supposed to kill? And then you feel a very timid, like, tap on your shoulder. Yes? <laughs> and as you realize she's behind you. <laughs> Fable whips around. Her hair is like crazy curly standing on end. She's probably got like twigs and grass sticking out of it. And uh, she's going to look at her and go, you! 
and like point her sword. You are either for us or you're against us and I don't like you. Where's my brother? <laughs> All right. Um, I've been cooperative. I'm for you. <laughs> And she looks at your eyes very intently and squints a little as she says, you. As long as you're not evil, I suppose. And as oh, for your brother, what one. happened? What, what happened was, is you started a little club with my brother and now my brother's doing bad things. He just disappeared paired with Winnie off of a boat and I don't like it and I don't like you because I think that you did it. It's your fault. I'm blaming you. Take me to my brother. And I arrive just like with my stick like, where's Winnie? <laughs> like, just, I'm standing way behind the table. I do not want to get between the table <laughs> and see. She raises her hands and says, I don't know where is she not on the boat. Fable looks so exasperated, like, like, oh my goodness, don't even pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about, and like turns around to Ronan to like gesture like this chick. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I have really fast not and waggles the stick of it. <laughs> All right, how would I know what has happened on the boat or with your brother when I don't follow people when they go to urinate? Think logically. Logically, nothing friend. about this place is logical. It's like Grona starts to have not breakdown, but like. Now look, the only reason I brought your brother is because he said he wanted to come to make sure that you were okay. And now he's kidnapped our friend, the liar. Well, what is your truth then? Why did your brother come? You know him better than I do, surely. Fable's really, like, on the verge of being extremely emotional. I mean, she is extremely emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that wasn't emotional. Jeez, what is this going to go into? She's, like, getting back into, like, the teary. Um, and she's just going to completely ignore that question because, like, she is so confused on the inside about, like, what her brother is doing. And she's gonna raise her sword like towards Shakirzi's face and be like, not like to attack, but like point it at her and be like, all of these problems started when you showed up and you sent us into the forest and you made us go save the puppies from spiders, but you didn't know that you did that. And I know that's okay, but no, it's not okay. And I had the bird of wolf because I'm an adventurer and it's your fault and I don't, I don't like you. I want my brother. You're entitled to not like me, but I did not, firstly, um, show up after you. I've been in the city for longer than you have, and the problem started before I showed up with older of But like you have rainbow eyes! And you have grey eyes. What color eyes did your brother have? What color eyes did my brother have? <laughs> what color eyes did your brother have? Wait, like real life? Or no, like uh, when he's being grumpy, Gus. Oh, uh, well, the typical like family Aladrin eyes are when we're grumpy, they're uh, orange. But were they orange? <laughs> Can I roll to remember? <laughs> Is there yeah. a... uh, roll me um, perceptions or histories. Why can I not remember the... <laughs> it's because I didn't take him own. by the shoulders. I've only got eight. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> um, so Zephyrin, you're thinking and you'd been pondering this for a while and you remember that glare that he'd given all of you and his eyes were orange, but when you'd met up with the brother originally, 
he had had rainbow eyes and his eyes hadn't changed from a blue color since then, since he put his guard back up, his disguise back on, even though he had definitely changed emotions. I think Zephyrin's gonna gonna say all this. Well, I mean, his eyes were orange when he was all grumpy, but they were rainbow before, and I don't remember them changing between then. Wait, 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 wait. So does he have like a twin, or uh, uh, um, is it a fake? Is it a um? I mean, is he still in the woods? Like, and he looks around like imposter, <laughs> like he starts to. All these wild ideas start going off in his head. I mean, maybe it was the other legend, you know, like there are other us's. Like the one that, the one that like is, you know, but with then, the queen. Then when, where's the real one? And I think he starts like going through the grass and did we see the direction that legend came from with all the sticks and everything? Mm -hmm. he's, he's like, I'm, I'm just gonna go check something, and he'd like to go and have a look. Like he's got his stick, he's moving grass out the way to try and find anything. Um, yeah. Maybe including legend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, investigate. I'd like to use an advantage, please. Okay. Because I have a minus one in investigation. <laughs> okay. Hey. So you're uh, you're sorting through and, and moving things aside, and you see. Uh, you find Legend's hatchet, which Legend had had when he left and had had when he came back. And he sort of bends down and picks up this hatchet, looks back, looks at the hatchet, he's in. Like, you know, there's something fishy going on here and I'm not talking about dinner. And he sort of looks over um, towards Fable. He's like, isn't this your brother's? Yeah, and he doesn't leave his stuff out because he doesn't like me to take it. Yeah, but like he was carrying it when he stole Winnie. So, whoa, what? What does and this Fable mean? <laughs> yeah, but can Fable, Fable, Fable uh, non-aggressively like, yeah, like holds it out? <laughs> holds it, yeah. He's like, yeah. Um, <laughs> Is it, is it his? It appears to be his. Like, it's the real deal? You can in investigate it. I'm gonna whack a tree with it. <laughs> uh, it whacks. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. Um, can I investigate the area? Because mm -hmm. now I'm confused. What if everything is a lie again? <laughs> Everything's always a lie. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um, you, can, you can see his like his tracks going off into the forest, but then it gets a little leafy and it's hard to follow after that. Zephyrin also join in the investigation? Yeah. Oh, let's get out our magnifying glasses. Um, you're able to follow the trail a little further and it just suddenly stops. Like, it's not like, you're not like, oh, here's a body. It just, you follow it and you're seeing signs, you know, trails, and it just, it's like he was standing there, there's a little knock taken out of a branch, and um, that's it. The trail just stops here. Do you think maybe he got teleported away by the fake legend too? Oh, I have a lot of brothers, guys. <laughs> like, where, where would they go? Like, I don't know what to do. I thought we go back to the queen that we're dethroning. So that we, me and Winnie can be co-queens. But... going to have to to save everyone. Do we need to stock up though before we go? We might need all the help we can get. Yeah, we probably should. But cautiously. Yeah. And this is why we check eyes, okay? 
So in future, it doesn't do matter so good. if anyone, <laughs> so we check their eyes, whether they have gone to the river, whether they have gone to get sticks, whether, and he starts like <laughs> listing off like these extreme <laughs> things. We always check their eyes. Come in. And he holds like <laughs> onto your shoulder and checks everyone else's eyes again to make sure we they're just still We should have a code word, Babel says. Like what? It's got to be something that's easy to slip into conversation, but not too obvious. Um, pizza. <laughs> pizza but what if I just... actually want pizza? Then, um, <laughs> they want that a lot. Uh, well, oh, oh, I know. So if you actually want pizza, you say pizza twice. So like pizza, pizza. Yeah. So I want a pizza, pizza. Yeah, but also like, hey, where's the pizza? And she immediately grabs Ronan's face to look at <laughs> Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pizza pizza is the code word. No, pizza pizza is the real pizza. <laughs> just one. <laughs> I wrote and stops. It's like pizza is the code word. Pizza pizza is the is is the real thing. It's the real deal. Yeah. Pizza <laughs> meat pizza for check eyes, pizza pizza for I actually want pizza. I grab hold of his shoulders. <laughs> you all still have gray eyes. Okay. Gonna run into rooms. <laughs> okay. But I say after all this is done, we get pizza pizza. I like I like pizza pizza. Yeah. Maybe we can have a pizza pizza party. <laughs> I agree. Is that a real party though, or is that like a is that a party party? <laughs> what well, party's not a code word. It's not. <laughs> like, <we're> just, <laughs> he's very low intelligence. <laughs> he does. <laughs> oh yeah, you're the one. <laughs> uh, and as you're discussing this in the forest, um, you hear a noise of something coming towards you. Again? Oh, no. <laughs> I stick up. <laughs> Again. And this time I'm just full blown running and tackling whatever it is. Oh, he tries, he's not sneaking or anything. Okay. Um, go ahead and make me an athletics or acrobatics. <laughs> I'd like acrobatics. to scream the word pizza as I go. <laughs> Please. Here we go. Okay. Um... Okay, so you run into the woods and smack into someone very wet. Um, and you fall on top of a very bloody and cut up and pretty much almost dead legend. I'm going, pizza! And as I'm grabbing his shoulders and I'm looking at his eyes before I even do anything. Uh, his eyes... Um, appear to be the blue that you've seen. And as you grab his shoulder, uh, you do know that he has a disguise on that's held on with his sword belt that he took off to show you before. But his eyes roll, black, roll and you can see that they're blue. And he's okay, he's like, Fable, can you come check if this is the right one, please? As I sort of sit on top of him. He's definitely got, it sort of like opens his eyes. <laughs> I think he's the right one. Fable will, walk him. <laughs> Fable will walk up and see Legend really bloodied and immediately ignores pizza and like can I do like a medicine? I don't mm -hmm. really have a lot to <laughs> Like Ronan is trying but to I heave him up, right? And by that I mean like Ronan is trying to sit him on his like lift his head up so that think, Fable can see. I think seeing seeing this reference reference calling for help from the others to for more medical attention. Mm -hmm. Um, the first to arrive in teleportation style is Tempasia, and she looks down. She says, 
I can catch him on fire if you want, but um, I'm not much good with the healing stuff. No, no, no. This isn't the grumpy one. This is the good one. This is this is this is the the nice one. And Fable, you're trying to staunch. There's just blood coming, and like you're able to stop some of it, but it's coming from many places. And he does the the kind of jerk thing as he coughs underneath you, and Shakir C appears and looks at him very suspiciously and kind of hesitates as she's looking down at him. Is this your brother? Fable's gonna look at Shakirsi and be like, I don't know, but you need to help because you're the adult. And she's just gonna go back to like, like legend, legend. And he, <laughs> and he looks up at you and he coughs again. And he says, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, if he dies, I'm gonna punch him in the face. <laughs> he says that out loud. <laughs> She rolls her sleeves up and starts to cast. And was there ever a nickname that Fable had as a kid from her brother? Um, I mean, not in particular. Like, he would call her, like, um... So, like, if she had come home with something, like a feather, like, he would call her that, like, little feather catcher, um, or things like that, but not in particular. It just was kind of, like, on whims. And he would, he coughs a little bit again, and he says, I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Brandon Fable steps is... back, <laughs> like, just... Give space. Fable is like frantically trying to fix it <laughs> and is in like straight up denial and is like, no, you're fine. You're fine. This is like when we fell off the bike and you scraped your knee and you said you weren't going to make it then, but then you made it fine. You're fine. It's just a scratch. Like, look, I can't even see. Oh, nothing is wrong. Everything is in where it's supposed to be. Um, I, nope. You're fine. Don't even. Legend. No. Nope. Elk catcher. No. <laughs> and Shakirsi's spell goes off. And you know, like when you restarted old computers, um, it looks like the equivalent to that where he just seizes very badly and just this white light just covers him and comes out of all of these cuts and it, it bathes your bloody hands as you're pushing down on him. And then he goes limp under you. And she is staring at him very focused, like she is maintaining or reading something. And the little girl is looking at her and looking at him and looking at you and looking at her. And he doesn't seem to be moving. Is he dead? You can roll a medicine to see if he is alive or dead. Oh, shoot. He's very, very still. You feel a residual tingle of magic. Can I see that um, Fable might be getting nervous and not reading it properly because of the panic and I sort of go oh let me check let me check like and sort of like I yeah. sort of kneel down next to her and I hold on to Fable and I roll medicine as well am I actually good at medicine <laughs> <laughs> so she's trying to feel for this pulse around where she's been staunching him but but her hands are sliding everywhere because they're covered in his blood and and you do the I was going to say, I'm checking like by his nose and his breath. And you do feel slight breath coming out. And he seems to be not in great shape, but not dead. 
I, I take Fable's hand. I'm like, no, 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 see, he's breathing. He's breathing. And that's this poor guy is probably going to let him know. He's just like, he's breathing. Like, just so, so that Fable doesn't panic. Fable is kind of shutting down. She doesn't, she's not talking anymore. She's not like responding. She's just staring because she doesn't like, she hears me and her brother's not quite okay. And she doesn't really know if he, she's doing things that are helpful. And so she doesn't know if she regrets asking for her help yet. And so she's very confused and feels traumatized <laughs> intensely. So aren't we all at um, the point? And I think it's, <laughs> um, at some point she's going to curl up in a little ball. Like I assume he's laying on his back and she's going to like put her back to his side and like, just lay there. And you do that, and uh, he feels cold, um, and you can feel him just ever so slightly breathing. And Shakirsi's still staring, just unblinkingly at him. And after a while, which seems like a very long time, she relaxes. I think we should leave quickly and not stop again until we're back in Rofeld. Zephyrin just nods and yeah, um, we need my help to carry him and point, you know, looking at Legend. I don't worry. Carry. I got this. And she casts something oh. and Fable, <laughs> you feel yourself being lifted up as um, a sort of floating disc seems to materialize under you from Tempasia and your brother gets lifted with you. I give Zephyr a look like... <laughs> I'm the best <laughs> wizard ever! And she nods. Zephyr just kind of shrugs back at Ronan. <laughs> he's, like, uh, he's like, we should go back to the boat and goes to like check what's going on on the boat. Zephyr just turns and starts heading back to the boat. <laughs> um... You pass the hatchet on your way back, and you pass uh, Twain, who's just now, like, starting to get into the forest proper, and then just, like, turns around and follows you. Yeah, he's just like, no, turn around, buddy, we're going this way. Uh, <laughs> like, Ronan right. just turns it around. <laughs> and I think Zephyr would just bend over and scoop up the hatchet as he passes by it. And uh, Shakirsi is very on alert with her bow out and looking around constantly keeping watch on your six while uh, Tempasia is floating along Fable and her brother and you get to the boat and it seems normal uh, minus Winnie and they are lifted onto the boat and Shakirsi looks back into the woods and I... It feels weird to leave like this, but we need to get you back first before we lose anybody else. We have to Is keep that... an eye on everybody. Are there any blankets around? I think Ronan's now scrubbing around to find something to at least keep them both warm. Yeah, there, there are some blankets and some, some nets and other general i have to be on a boat for a day it's not like yeah. a shit proper but mm. yeah he's trying to gather whatever blankets he can and he's putting them over both faithful and legend like literally just trying to keep them warm. when when he when when he got teleported away by other legend did did the book go as well or is it still on the okay i think zephyr's just gonna go over to where she was sitting and just kind of you know like Put his hand down on the on the table and just kind of stare down at the spot where you know she was sitting and reading the book for like a long moment and then before kind of coming back out and just kind of just being very quiet and just kind of um i think he's gonna quietly pull up the um the anchor when you know when they're ready to go and uh she's shakirsi motions you to pull it up pretty immediately um pretty ready to to get us gone 
and looks around and right so back to Prof. Profeld and glances over at uh, Fable and Legend and she goes to the back and motions her bow down at the water and brings it across and you hear music play as she brings her bow across even though she's not fiddling on anything and the waves pick up and start pushing you faster and she goes back to the helm and Brennan looks over at Zephyr and he's like Lini's been a stick we've all been lost before we'll just get her back again Zephyr just kind of nods. I, I know, I know. And let's be honest, she's the smartest out of all of us. Yeah, it's just, I don't, I mean, I don't like the thought of any of us being alone. And I mean, I think Feywild kind of, it was, it was hard on her before. Yeah. But she's pretty tough. As much yeah. as, you know, she doesn't like breaking the rules or anything. She's pretty good at looking after herself. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll get her back. We will. And at the moment, we're going to look after these two. Who sort of looks um, over at um, Babel and Legend. And you know Winnie would do that. Except for Nazi. Yeah, she would. And we, you know, hopefully, I hope he can, we can figure out how to, how to, save everyone with, with everyone together here. Well, the sooner we get back home, the better. And then we can actually figure it out if we ever figure it out, whatever's happening. Either way is make sure they stay alive, get Winnie back, and defeat bad person because that's normally what happens in adventures. Zephyr takes a just takes a, a deep breath of the river air, I guess, <laughs> and it just goes. Uh, yeah, I think we just need to have a moment to stop and think, so we can just come up with a plan. And he's like, "We'll do it." And he slaps you really hard on the back, and it's probably harder than he means to because that's not the one thing he's good at. <laughs> he's like <laughs> slaps you on the back, meaning it in a very friendly, like, "Yeah, we got this, buddy," kind of way. Zephyr is not expecting it, so he he does the whole like whoa, <laughs> <laughs> then just just kind of just kind of like kind of chuckles, and smiles back at, at Ronan. And uh, you see the the edge of Rofeld rushing into view, and Shakirsi plays another invisible note, and the boat slows down, and you see arrows knocked out from all of the fishing nets and docks as you start to approach and a loud voice comes out who goes there and we're gonna go ahead and break there um so everybody stretch um hug your brothers and your sisters and your family members and um drink some water eat some food we'll be back in five-ish see you in a minute
Oh, hi. Welcome back. Uh, we are ready to pick back the, up the story. So, the town of Rofeld looms and arrows are knocked and a voice booms out asking who you are. My hands go up. My paws go up. Like... I'm unarmed! Which is a lie, but I'm unarmed! <laughs> Zephyr does the same. I mean, put his hands up. Shakirsi also. We live here? I pull the cover over Fable and Legend a little bit more, just like <laughs> as if it looks like Sax. <laughs> or something. <laughs> ah, Sax. Um, Based on my handy Sax. Ugly <laughs> human shaped Sax. My human shaped Sax. Shakirsi calls out. Shakirsi, I left not three days ago, and the arrows stay knocked. This is also a very strange greeting. Uh, you all would know uh, this is not normal for your happy little farm town. And as the boat pulls in, um, a grappling hook comes and pulls you into the dock uh, not like personally but the boat into the dock and there is a large turtle that you all know um, from being one of the village elders pulling you in is Tudino and he normally is not seen around the town very often uh, he prefers to be a bit of a hermit and he foot on the boat, which promptly like leers at Shakirsi, who stares back at him. And he says, how are the fishings going today? And she says, they're biting quite normally. And he looks at her and she looks back at him and they just stare at each other for a minute and then they smile and he pulls her onto shore and he says, who have you got here today? And she says, the students, the ones that vanished. And he looks at all of you and says, all right, come on, come on off the boat. Like, Ronan hasn't dropped his hands. And he whispers to the Fable Zephyr and he's like, I'm gonna pizza. I sort of walk over and I want to really check out his eyes as I go. Uh, he has green eyes. And then I sort of like... He has sort of grayish skin. Uh, if you had to put a species, you would say he would be like a box turtle. Very rounded shell. Uh, a bit small and stumpy. I can't say no. stumpy can I? I love him. I love him. <laughs> that poor cat. <laughs> and he he helps you all off. Fable, are you still being a sack with legend? Um I will stand. I will arise and seize the day, but I will not leave legend's side at all. He still appears to be asleep or unconscious, and um, Tempasia looks at you and says, Do you want to ride, or you want to walk? Fable will, like, be like, I'll walk. And she ferries up the floating disc with um, your brother on it, and follows after you, and after you cross and your brother gets floated across, uh, Tudino holds out a hand and says, I don't recognize these. And looks at Twain and the child. Zephyr pipes up and he says, uh, we found them while we were um, lost and we just brought them back. They, they're, they're good people. This is um, actually a uh, Cause my cousin. I thought we thought we were. She was lost for a long time. And he squats down and peers into her eyes, and she just stares defiantly back up at him. And he nods, and then he takes stock of Twain. 
Can you vouch for him? Is he talking to me or? Oh, he's addressing all of you. Okay. Yeah, he helped. He helped us too. Mm, got rainbow eyes. I don't like it. He's he's harmless. Yeah, I I don't I don't mean nobody no harm. I can't really use weapons much, and I I ain't good at them spells either. So. He's uh, really not, he's not quiet either. Like he's like, he's like, <laughs> as Ronan like shouts back. And he kind of nods and says, all right. And he looks around at all of you. You all have three boys, right? And Shakir C. We need somebody who's not colorblind to do this check. I know you mean well. He does not have rainbow. None of the the. Ro- Shall we just go to your place and and you can all talk about this, and I can push it up for the return journey. And he squints and smiles a little and says, "Okay, all right, youngins, come to my hut." And he starts trundling <laughs> off. I'm, I'm assuming we walk a lot faster than him, but have to slow down to... Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's kind of broad-legged, stumping along with a cane, and is not... Like, if you had to pin a move speed, it might be, like, 15. <laughs> I picture all of us just looking like we're walking in slow motion. <laughs> Awkwardly, like... <laughs> and Shakir C immediately veers off. Um... Tempasia follows and then kind of stops and follows and Twain nudges her along to follow you. And you walk through town and on the edge of town you get to uh, to Dino's hut. To Dino's hut. And he smacks open the door with his cane. He says, oh, just follow me right inside then. I'll put on some tea quite through an ordeal. You're covered in blood, young lady. As he gestures at Fable with his cane. Fable goes, yeah, so what? <laughs> no observation. <laughs> Just don't trip it on my nice couch. Put a towel down. And he <laughs> stumps off into his kitchen and you hear some water as he starts making, preparing tea. And he works on it for a moment and returns to you and says, All right. What's been going on with you? I'm ready to hear it all. I think I think Rhoda's is just staring at him because she, he's never really seen him before. Because he's never really seen any this 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 turtle just intrigues him greatly. Like, why does he move so slowly? Colorblind? Like it's like it's all these different things. It's like <laughs> trying to work out who and he's trying to work out if this person is safe to trust because there's not been a lot of it lately Fable crosses her arms and um, turns to Zephyrin and says when he would say stranger danger and then like looks back and like Ronan nods Different nods, but then he's, he's, he goes, I mean, he's an elder, isn't he? And, and would, um, I mean, you said that we would have, like, known that he's an elder of the village, right? You know of him, you know, there's this old hermit turtle somewhere. He doesn't really come out much for pretty much anything. Um, not really a lot is known about him, except this old man. Old man keeps to himself, has a garden out back. Bruno sort of shuffles forward. He's like, excuse me, Mr. Um, Elder Sir. Um, quick question. Why were you greeting everyone with um, bows and arrows? You don't normally do that. Oh, um, yes, I, I normally don't, but uh, things got a bit weird here lately. You're telling me? At least like, any sort of looks uh, back. He's like, we've been all sorts of places. Well, there was a 
big band of miscreants that came into town rolling in like they own the place don't you know and he very like angrily stomps the 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 table which makes all the china and the teacups on it sort of jingle that's and... nothing we had a moose donut what a moose donut exactly like, and he starts getting over exaggerated he's like and then there was a tree that came to life that tasted like chocolate and then we had to climb a mountain we there were men with tree. capable legs capable goat legs i bet you haven't got anyone with capable goat legs around here like like ren is now seeing it almost like a competition like <laughs> oh we don't have anybody with capable goat legs but back in my day we had a big castle we had all sorts of servants and 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 now these people these ruffians roll into town to say that they're the rightful heirs of everything and don't you know it's just ridiculous but we had an upside down mountain. And he's like, what, what, what do you mean ruffians? Ruffians. What's a ruffian? Ruffians. They're miscreants, ne'er-do-wells. No, you're losing me. I, I don't think, um, do you mean like, not great people? Bad guys. And I think they're the heir to something. What castle? <laughs> and he suddenly like starts to go. What castle are you talking about? Oh, it was a long time ago. Back when I was a little more than an egg. It was a beautiful castle. Do you remember if you were an egg? What? I think right. Zephyr at this point nudges Ronan and just kind of whispers, I think that's where we were with all the shambling people. I want to know if the tortoise came first or the egg. Ah, <laughs> oh, Tally. She was my first love. Met her in the castle. Were there never... weird, like, zombie creatures around yours when you were there? No. Well, sometimes she would be. <laughs> oh, probably That's a, a bit, bit too old of a joke. I um, would have got but... hit with a spoon if I said that about Rosie. Ah, oh, but you see. I have all the spoons here, and he clinks the side of his teacup with a, with a very tiny spoon. And Ronan is staring at this bizarre, looks at he's like, yeah, I don't know what's going on. He's like, oh. he's just looking at everyone else like, what do we do? What is going on? <laughs> Drink your tea. And let Ronan always <laughs> nervously <laughs> takes the cup, like, okay. <laughs> It's a very, smells very, very tasty. And uh, if you drink it, it does taste really good. It's really calming. It's almost like he spent a very long time by himself just making food and teas and perfecting this recipe. And <laughs> sort of stood opposite. He's like, so. I don't really understand what's going on here, if I'm honest, Mr. Tortle. I don't either, if I'm honest. One day, you're just going about your business, having a festival, and everything catches on fire. Out of the I flames come four tall strangers that demand the town, saying it's rightfully theirs. I Start killing off people. Everyone runs into the forest, some people are lost. Wait, wait, wait. Four strangers? Yes, ruffians, the thugs, the bad guys. What do they look like? Tall, hooded, not nice, with the weapons, magic. I can't believe they set everything on fire. <laughs> like, sort of really trying to <laughs> blame <for> them. <laughs> Just like looking at people like briefly, like. But I, you said people died. No, oh, a few people, we, we thought, some of them have just disappeared once, the, you know, we got back together, we took back the town, rallied everyone. Oh, it was a glorious battle. I, I did my best. And he, like, taps his cane on the floor. Um, question. <laughs> um, one, how long have we been missing? Um, two, um, what's the problem if you've run them out of town? Oh, you know, running people out of town, there's always another town, there's always somewhere they can go and hide out, and, and they come back. 
Where's more? More ruffians! More hooligans! Thank you for the raid! <laughs> Kentucky Hawkeye! You never went to let your guard down. They took the town once. They could do it again. <clears throat> so where are they now? Didn't follow them. I'm still here. They're still here? No, I'm still here. I don't You're know still here. Okay. <laughs> Ronan is getting very confused by the enthusiasm of this turtle. And it's like, but everyone's safe now. Well, probably shouldn't talk about it in front of children. We've been what? through a lot. <laughs> We've seen crazy stuff. We have. Everyone in the town was accounted for, except for you and one more. Um, uh, a little, uh, uh, Winnie. 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 Winnie, yes, Winnie, yes, a, a little, little thing. Um, but, <coughs> girl, I think, maybe elf, I think, maybe sticks out. One of the hairless ones, not like you. Not like me, not, not shelled. Anyway, so, there we were, collecting all the bo uh, people, and we noticed that there were a couple that weren't there, and, of course, parents were immediately... did not want to think of the bad things that could befall the, you know, younglings. So, they went off and tried to find them, and it was just scarcity, and uh, the old place, you know. Castle and what was the name? Uh, the love of my life. Janice, I think, was her name. She was beautiful. Janice. Um, sir, I mean, can, can we, um, you said she, oh, so Shakirsi and Legend went to the old place to find us. No, oh, no, she wouldn't take it. It was, it was the parents that we followed afterwards. So you had to get his sister back. Oh, <clears throat> just duty. You know how young men are. Very dramatic. <laughs> anyway, so they went off in search of you, I suppose, and then they ended up going on the river, and they're not back, are they? Zephyr just kind of looks down. No. Oh, I'm sure it will be fine and he smacks the table very jovially and uh does anybody want more tea <laughs> uh, no I'm just finishing this one now thank you just sort of like he's hugging this teacup as if it's the only <laughs> thing that's like <laughs> mildly normal around here right now but no you were asking how long you've been gone um when did you leave we're not the, the, really the sure. Festival, kind of. Oh, festival, yes. But, oh, no, it's, uh, it's, he looks like he's like doing some very difficult math. And he says, I've been out four times since then. I think that's a record. But, but you never go out, so does that mean it's been a long time, a short time? No, oh, weeks must have been. Think. Weeks must have been. Yes, as I see, there was the attacks, and then we all fled, and then we came back, and uh, no, then we started counting people. Then there was the forest recovery team, and uh, put down all the fires, and yes, must be weeks. Our next project is to build up some walls. Okay. Is, is that what we're here to... Look, we need to find our friend. Which one? Uh, Winnie. Winnie. Oh, yes. Winnie. Someone um, sort of uh, grabbed her and then they vamooshed and they disappeared. What did this person look like? Um, him. And points okay. over at Legend, is it? But not him. I think he was one of the ruffians. Ruffians! And he like yeah, bangs like, again. Like making like Ronan jump and sort of catch the teacup. 
Yes. Zephyr kind of picks up his cup at it, like right before he hits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Raffians, maybe. We're not sure. Hmm. Terrible sword. You don't become ruffians, you lot. Um, so, um, do you know how we can find them? They might have our friend. The ruffians. The, 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 the ruffian, again, takes his mug off the thing. Yes, the ruffians. <laughs> no. You're too young to be finding them anyway. Ruffians are a bad sort. They rub off on the wrong people the wrong way. And you're just... That's, that's true, but also we've been told we're too young to go into the Fey world, and here we are. So if we, you could just tell us where the ruffians are, it would be real handy. Are we in the Fey world right now? He looks uh, around no. very alarmed and starts poking, like, his pillows. He's like, no, 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 we no not right now. We have been. Then he gently prods you. No, not on the Feywild, Sort of like, you? I sort of take my staff and poke him back. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm there just like, no, you don't understand. We were there and we did it all on our own without adults. <clears throat> and all the ones we found there were useless. No offense, fine. Oh no, I'm pretty useless. You got that right. <laughs> To be fair, it was a different version of him, but still. I'm really good at making candy. I can do that real well, but like everything else, I mean, I'm good at accounting. I can I can do money real good, but the rest of it, nah, it's not. I'm not the a- adventuring sort. And <laughs> that bird is literally looking at Twain like. <laughs> straight towards him in front of this turtle like please just tell us where they are well, I, I didn't track them they were here and well, ran them out a, of town is there a point where we can start do you know where somebody somebody who might know like at least the direction they went mm. we ran them towards the river but you shouldn't go into there it's dangerous as wolves dead people yeah. <laughs> Again, like we're in a <laughs> But either way, thank you for the delightful tea. No, you want biscuits. Um, actually, yeah, no, I, I, I would like biscuits. Like, suddenly remembering Rosie's, like, tub of biscuits and how he's not had one in so long. <laughs> but he, he stands and, and stumps out into the next room, and you hear a general cacophony of things. Rona's like, okay, we're gonna have one biscuit and then we've gotta get out of here and go and find Winnie. We can even take the biscuit with us. We should take one for Winnie. Yeah, we should. I think she'd like that. Okay, yeah, no, we'll do that. Okay. But he comes back and he says, all right. And he sets down this tray that's just this array of different biscuits. Some of them look like they have like some, some fruit in them and others are like checkerboard pattern and some are like these swirly tubey looking things and they all just like smell very sweet and bready and biscuits would you mind if I took one for my friend please oh I like making biscuits uh, biscuits for everyone they, they look delightful and he's like putting his hand in this jar and just like <laughs> taking some out he yeah, grabs a, grabs a few that uh and, and you know kind of wraps them up in a uh, like a napkin or handkerchief or something a that's... biscuit bindle yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of just kind of puts it away and he he, he watches you and he's like Oh, you know, I don't have visitors very often. I always have too many biscuits. Anyway. <laughs> now now Rona feels slightly bad about leaving. <laughs> so, like, how is that? Um, that, that? That's, um... They look lovely. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Tilda used to love them. The love of my life, Tilda was. <sighs> and again, that is that. Oh, I think like... Was it, was it okay? Yeah. <laughs> um, she sounds lovely. Oh, she was. Oh, it was Gretchen. Didn't care for biscuits. Anyway, so, so you are leaving then? Um, yes. Um, really appreciate everything. 
we do need to go find our friend and save her from the murderous clutches of the ruffians. Ruffians! And he like just <laughs> slams his cup down to the point Catch where the biscuits. <laughs> like, the, the the little saucer under the cup just like goes and like flies <laughs> off into the next room. And he says, oh, "If I were younger and my legs longer, I would." After those ruffians and myself. Mm -hmm. We'll give him a good walloping for you, sir. Mm. Wallop. Wait, what are, what? They're much older than you and bigger. So what if they wallop you? Oh, we're, wait. We're, we're nimble and we're fierce. Yeah, we've we've been through some we've been through some <laughs> fights. We'll, we'll be okay. He killed a man. <laughs> he points over at Zephyrin. Zephyr he looks at kinda, you very alarmed. <laughs> Zephyr just kind of does a thing. He looks at Rodin and goes, is, is that capable? <laughs> and he, he didn't kill a man. He was just sleeping. And and, and she killed an elk. And and he fish. killed a fish. Well, kind of. Almost killed a fish. Not Two quite. fish. <laughs> um, fish died with us. And the uh, Tadina looks around at you and says, mm. you Say hi to your parents. Those that are still around, of course, right? We will. I hope so. Mm, good. Take with you to get the coffee. Okay. Stop looking so sad! <laughs> bangs his hands off. He's like, we're gonna go get those ruffians for you. <laughs> he just starts walking out. Like, backing away probably more than anything. <laughs> we're getting the ruffians! <laughs> yeah. Zephyr thanks him again and follows Ronan out. And he he catches Twain and pulls him back with his cane and says, don't join the ruffians. And kind of shoves him on and Twain <laughs> stumbles like, all right then. And you exit the house of Tudino. <laughs> I sort of Tudino close the house. door behind me, and I'm like, that was probably the weirdest experience, and we've been to the Feywild. He really doesn't like ruffians. I mean, what is to like about ruffians, but did you see that saucer go fly? Yeah, but he's like angry against his crockery, kind of doesn't like his ruffians. I mean, I'm not happy with him either. So should we go see, you know, uh, I mean, people that we know before we, or should we just go look for the, for the I think ruffians? we should check if they're alive, effectively. Yeah, okay. And I want to start making my way towards Rosie's house. Just, it's almost like a pass by, not necessarily stopping, but wants to just make sure they're okay. Because he also knows that if he stops too fast, like, she might stop him from going. So she just wants to keep moving. Okay. So you um, approach Rosie's place and um, you don't hear any sound coming from it. Is there a window I can peer into? Mm hmm. Um, everything seems very neatly put away, and no one is moving about. Mm. Rosie's not here. It'd be a right mess if Rosie was here. <laughs> maybe she's still, maybe she's still stuck in the Feywild with the others. Well, we've got to get her back. Yeah, we, we are. We need to check on the others too. Yeah, and I think Zephyr's gonna head towards his house and keep a distance to just check and make sure see you know make sure his mom is there. Okay, um, as you're walking through the village, you can see that things are different. Uh, some buildings that were there are not anymore, and uh, there are there's a lot of like general vandalism. Um, a bunch of where the crops normally are have been has been just like torn up the ground just looks like untilled and unkempt and uh some of the remains of the festival are kind of pushed off to one side in a pile where it looks like something went wrong and they just have not had time to get it together yet um and as you 
reach your house, Zephyr, and you peer in. Uh, no one is home. You can see not everything is put up away and proper um, as it was in Ronan's house. Well, it looks, it looks like someone's been around, but my mom might be helping around the town. I have a feeling no one we think should be here is actually going to be here. Probably. I mean, everything's so weird right now in the town. But, I mean, they did get attacked. Well, let's go check my house. Yeah, let's, let's go see... Let's go see your parents. And we need to get legends safe. Yeah. But yeah, I'm so getting real tired of... Yeah. <laughs> getting real tired of carrying him around. She smiles, uh... And you go over to Fable's house, and... As you come close to the door... Um, Fable, your door opens, and your parents come out, and they wrap you up in this hug. And it's kind of more it's a lot it's a lot it's not really what you're used to out of them um as they kind of cry a little bit and, and hold you with this ridiculous yeah, like, <laughs> it feels very overwhelmed she's had a lot happen and like a lot of like emotions she doesn't quite know what to deal with and so like whereas it's unexpected it's insanely welcomed um, their response to her and so she's just gonna kind of like uh, follow their lead like she'll like um, cry with them and hug them um, but stick very closely to their sides like once like the embrace is over like when they go inside like she's probably not going to split from them being very close to them they you know, hold you very close and um, your your dad picks you up and does that, you know, where you grab the back of the head and just holds you and your mom goes past and looks at Legend on the disc and does the, the gasp. And she looks at you and back at him and Tempasia pushes him in on the disc into the house and they go in with you and you can see once you've entered the house that every surface that can be covered in pages of writing is covered in pages of writing and it looks like they've been working non-stop just writing and writing and writing. Um, should we, did she make some mental note of like being curious? Because she just doesn't have the energy or capacity to be curious at the moment. Because she's been so curious for so long and gotten into so many different situations that she cannot process like the uncertainty of curiosity right now. So like, it almost is unsettling to her to have so many things to be curious about when in reality, like this whole mess started because she was curious and they went off the path to get the mushrooms <laughs> because Fable wanted to go to the river. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so very subdued, like definitely not in natural Fable fashion. Um, where are they taking Legend? Because you'll probably follow wherever Legend is going. Um, Tempasia just sort of ferries him into the room and stands there as awkwardly as a small child can and is looking around sort of like, where do I put this thing down? Um, Fable will uh, get her dad to put her down. Um, and she's going to go and grab Tempasia's hand and Legend's hand and walk them into Legend's room. When you... <laughs> she levitates you up and your parents follow behind and she'll levitate him over the bed and drop him and she goes, 
<sighs> well, that took a long time. I just realized that Fable has nothing in her room anymore. Um, <laughs> from one of the wild magic cards. <laughs> um, crap. Uh, she's gonna send Tim Page into her room to do stuff. <laughs> and I think that, so I think that she does, like, grab Tim Page's hand and, like, take her to her room so that, like, she can play, and then walks in her room, and I, I assume, like, everything is gone, and I assume, is it, has, like, the, pa have the papers overflowed into her room, or it's, like, um. The papers have not overflown into the room, uh, but your door is closed, and when you open it, it's just everything is gone. Um. Did the ruffians um, get your room? I guess so. And she just shuts the door, like, dejectedly. <laughs> and, like, goes back to Legends room. <laughs> and uh, your parents are kind of hovering over him. And you're, who is more stern between your mother and your father, if you had to pick one? Mom. Your mom looks at you and she says, you are never leaving this house again. Not without your father or I. And Fable literally just goes, okay. <laughs> and goes and like sits at the corner of Legend's bed, like no contest at all. <laughs> and they they no, nod. No. <laughs> and and your dad says, We're we're gonna put up protective spells and, and make sure that nothing can get in and nothing can take you away from us again. And your mom nods and, and she looks down at Legend and, and shakes her head and how did this happen? Well, I, so many things. And I think that Fable for the first time actually like begins to tell the entirety of what's going on. Um, realizing that her normal vessel of communication is not currently stable um as so i just think thinking that she goes through and she starts telling the story and she's gonna skip the parts where legend isn't she's gonna skip the parts about legend not actually being her brother but he is and she's gonna just skip over those because she doesn't want to think about that but she will tell the part where fake legend stole winnie and then she's gonna look up at her parents and be like so maybe I've got to go back. No, out of the question. You can't go back. We just got but you Winnie. back. It's very sad what happened to your friend, no. but I'm sure that the other adults can find her. That's not how this works. And Fable is starting to get really defiant and stands up. You don't leave people in places with bad people. You said that. No, but look, there are adults that are working on the situation and you're finally home safe and we can't let you run into a dangerous situation. You know, in in the past, li the time that I've spent, no adults were helpful. In fact, there were adults that lied and there were adults that cheated and I have friends and I, I work, I love you, but I have to go. And she's going to stand up off the bed and she's going to start walking towards the front door. And your mom grabs your arm and says, no, you're grounded. <laughs> I will resume my grounding when I return. <laughs> and she like gently shrugs her off. And begins to walk again. But she's also like, she's almost hesitating because she's never actually been defiant. Like, she's made decisions that were not great, but not downright, I'm doing this to her parents. 
and to like the second time she tries to walk away it's a little bit more like in the physicality of her you can tell that she's hesitating but also is very sure in what she has to do and like watching your, a year old he's determined <laughs> your dad calls out we don't want you to end up like your brother please just stay here and we'll figure it out um where is Ronan and Zephyrin right now are they behind me or in front of me I think Ronan would at least stand beside you whilst this was happening but he also knows that this is not something it's not his place to fight for Fable if you see what I mean so he is there like trying to stand as tall as he can very obviously but it's yeah I think Zephyrin's standing by, like, he's, he's standing by the door, like, just off to the side, so, like, he can, you know, like, open it and, and leave if, really quickly if he needs to, or if he needs to, you know, open it really quickly for anyone else. I think at that point, Fable looks at, she'll look at, uh, at Ronan, and she'll look at Zephyrin, and then she'll turn around and she'll say, legend ended up that way because, because he didn't always tell the truth and he didn't always do the right thing. And I know how to do the right thing. And if I don't do the right thing, I will be like legend. And she's going to walk out the door. Vernon is like, and quickly <laughs> follows Ze out Zephyr after her. Zephyr just follows as fast as he can. She uh, will will peek inside before she shuts the door she will say i love you and i'm sorry and then she'll shut the door um you can hear the sound of your mom breaking down uh behind the door in tears and vague hysterics and your dad you can hear the rumble of his voice but you can't really make out any words um, are you taking Tempasia with you? I'd say so. Yeah. yeah. Sure, she's, she's content. She's good at setting stuff on fire. I feel like yeah. her and Fable will get along well. <laughs> no, she's been following you. She's just sort of, all right, I, I carried the brother. Now, where are we going next? <laughs> and Twain was standing outside of the door awkwardly, just sort of, all right. Being Twain. <laughs> It's a nice little town you got here, he says, looking over at charred remains of a house. It normally looks a lot better than this. What, like, more color? Yeah, and, you know, less, um, less burned down buildings. All right. So we're staying here then and, and getting back with the family and stuff, or... No, we need to save the our friends and family that are still left in the Feywild. Oh, right. And he, he nods and he yawns really big. And he says, I've been stuck over there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess he even does. Like, wasn't even a real yawn. Uh, <laughs> I, I get by the same word. So... <laughs> I, I've been stuck in that place for a long time. I, I'm a bit not together up there. Uh, we'll get it though, right? And he looks at Tempasia and she gives him a thumbs up enthusiastically and looks back at you. Uh, like, All right. We can do this. Getting back, Winnie. And all the adults. Yeah. 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 Yes. How? We find the ruffians. Ruffians. And she like bangs the side of <laughs> Fable's house. And it's just like, would you stop? Don't you pick that up as well? <laughs> but it's such a fun word, ruffian. <laughs> well, we need to find them because they're most likely to have Winnie. Right. And they went toward the river, right? Towards the river. So, um, besides tall, what do these ruffians look like? He said they were wearing cloaks or hoods? Like cloaks. Yeah. Okay. 
So we look for tall people in hoods. And we set them on fire. Uh, maybe we question them first if they don't have Winnie with them. Just a thought. There's no point in being a great sorcerer if you can't set everything on fire. Well, you can do it, but, you know, maybe just give them a chance first. We need to find right. out what on earth's going on. <sighs> Fine. We could set... We could set everything else on fire. I mean, it made a great distraction last time. Let's not burn down our home. Oh no, we're going by the river. There's lots of water by the river. Yeah, that's true. All right, we'll set the river on fire. I know a great spell for that. The first thing you have to do is change the water from water into something else. Um, I'm going to go and find... I'm heading to the river now. <laughs> <laughs> he takes out his staff and starts walking. Zephyr just trying to just ignore um, Tempasia and, <laughs> and follows along with Ronan. Tempasia follows you and Twain follows as well. And when you get to the edge of the city, or the city, the village where it starts becoming a forest, you see more archers pointed out to the forest. And Zephyr, and you see that your mom is among them. Not typically the archering sort, but has a bow. And she is very focused as you are walking up to pass the perimeter. Oh, that's that's a different turns to the others. That's that's my mom. I I should probably say something because yeah, and Zephyrin just kind of just kind of breaks off and walks up to her. Mom. Oh gosh. Oh hi. Oh honey. And she just like. <laughs> <laughs> I think at this point, you know, Zephyrin's kind of he's kept it together as best he can, you know, through everything that's happened. But I think. Uh, this is this is kind of the point where it's just everything has just kind of gotten to be a bit too much, and he just kind of like he's still tr like he he does the thing where he's still trying to hold it together, but he's just kind of quietly you know starting to cry, uh, and he hugs his mom back as you know just as tight as he can. And she she sings a little bit as she's kind of hug rocking you just under her breath a little bit. <laughs> Where have you been? We were worried sick. We got we got pulled into the Feywild and we ended up in in, in some weird places even for the Feywild and he just kind of starts rambling on and then he, he remembers Tempation and he kind of you know starts to pull away a little bit and he, he gestures over to Tempation and he goes, um, I found I found that cousin, Tempasia. Oh. Did you tell him that's who she was? Well, I i mean, I saw him, but that was before we found Tempasia, and um, I think he's still in the Feywild, and we have to go save him, and our and our friend Winnie. And her, her face falls, and she looks at you, and she looks back at your friends. I don't like the idea of that. I know, but we've, I mean, we've gotten this far and we've actually done pretty well, you know, as a, as a group. We've, we're, we, and I think Zephyrin is, like, is there, I'm assuming there are trees nearby. He's going to just, like, he's going to, like, quickly take a dagger out and, like, throw it at, like, the nearest tree just to kind of, like, like a show of, like, look what I can do. Roll for it. Let's yeah. see if you can. <laughs> Hit Ronan. Um, <laughs> attack, attack roll? Yeah. Okay. Hit Tempasia. There's dad's cut. Oh god. <laughs> I'm I'm intentionally throwing it away from the group and like at a tree where there's like nobody near it. Oh, I don't know. I that one and a very clumsy tabaxi. <laughs> um. So you throw the dagger and it hits the tree and it sticks there for a minute and then falls down. And she looks and she looks at you and kind of sizes you up and says, "I know." here and she pulls out just some some rations and says make sure you keep everybody safe i will we look out for each other yes and i'm, I'm like a distance back from zephyr and just like, i can't hear him but i'm like <laughs> i've never met his mom before <laughs> so i'm like 
<laughs> and Twain kind of walks up next to you and says, uh, do you, uh, you missing a hug? You ain't got no family here? Who, me? Yeah. Well, technically I do, but she's somewhere else right now. All right, well, you know, if you need what? a hug or a piece of candy. Do you know how weird that sounds? <laughs> I guess he sort of looks. He kind of like, it dawns on him and he's like, yeah, I know, but. Yeah, I mean, it is appreciated. I just want to portray that across, but right, maybe no, don't do yeah. that to every. No, it's just because. Yeah. No, yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah, right, it, it the... is appreciated. Right. I guess. <clears throat> Do anyway. you want a hug? Is that where this is going? Like, he's like looking up his way. <laughs> nah, I mean, it's all right. I don't have any candy. <laughs> uh, no, I, I think y'all ate most of my candy too. Uh, maybe find some honey in the forest and start cooking up a new batch. But, uh, yeah, I just, you know, all alone felt kind of bad for you. I'll make sure you're not left out of all the family reuniting stuff. Uh, no, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. Thanks. All right, good. And and <laughs> sorry for people who can't see, <laughs> Scratch has crawled to <laughs> so get a jump and do followed by the cat. <laughs> so, it was very good. You rolled very well and said that's my sock. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And Twain just sort of awkwardly like stands there and nods and uh Zephyrin, your mom looks over at, at the rest and back at you again and says, Bring your dad home. We have you know a lot of chores piling up. And she gives you a smile. Zephyrin smiles back and nods. I will. I love you. I, I love you too, Mom. Growing up good, and she kind of gives you a little <laughs> shoulder squeeze. Be safe. I'll, I'll watch your back from here. Thanks. I, I feel safer already. I'm just standing awkwardly by Twain now. <laughs> like looking at him every now and then, like, yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, good. Well. Yeah. So he goes and gets his dagger back and and goes back to the group. Okay, I, I'm I'm ready to go. Whenever, whenever you are. All right. Yeah, ready. Um, I don't know the woods, so someone else better lead. Well, because when he's not here, I think we should all hold hands. Um, I'll take up the rear, and he holds out his hand to Tempasia, who takes it. To the river. And I take out my staff, and I hold out my hand to whoever takes it. <laughs> I think Zephyr to take um, Tempasia's free hand. Abel will grab Ronan's hand and Zephyr's hand if he has a free one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Onwards! And he sort of points his stick and starts walking towards the river where the hooded figures were last seen. Okay, so you start walking off towards the, 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 towards the river. <laughs> and you're following that same path that you took when you're picking mushrooms and along the path you see signs of fighting there's blood there's some like, shields and some broken arrows and it looks like there there's definitely enough blood for people to have died here uh, but you can't you don't see any bodies lying around um and it starts getting a little more sporadic and more just arrows as you go and then um a little past where you had originally veered off the path it seems the fighting seems to have stopped um ronan is sort of trying to ignore almost like all the blood and everything around it just like keep walking like he doesn't even look he's trying to keep it at eye line head for the river he doesn't want to see any of it but he just keeps walking constantly like watching 
mm-hmm. for any indication of um, these cloaked figures or being watched kind of thing. Okay, uh, everyone roll me a perception. You are very perceptive today. They all are. Um, I guess. Let me do other NPCs with you. Okay. So, um, as you're walking along, you notice that you're looking, you're listening, and you hear the water chattering away as normal, and you don't hear anything like moving uh, aside from like little chipmunk squirrels birdies you don't see any signs of oh there's someone camping out here uh you stop being able to follow any sort of blood there's just no more blood um so it's not like somebody bleeding retreating you see no signs of people staking out here but you are able to find some tracks and all of you were really well uh you see three sets of boot prints and one set of very large paw prints that's not good <laughs> it looks down at how big these paw prints are do you do you think there are do you think it's the other us I mean, it could be. I mean, that's just that's just wrong sending the other us to take over our home. And he's sort of looking at everything. Can you see what direction they went in? Mm-hmm. Um, they veer off the path uh, towards the river. I suggest we follow, but we do it really cautiously. And he starts to do like a Scooby Doo walk. Okay, after roll me. these things. Roll me stealth. Here we go. I'm assuming everyone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you all are being real quiet and like and you hear um Tempasia who is walking very clumsily and she keeps muttering it's too short and it's being tall damn it and like she kind of slip slides and twain is just not not a quiet man <laughs> he's just not a graceful human being uh as he just sort of walks and doesn't even he he looks like he's trying to be stealthy but it is actually like scooby doing <laughs> making it worse <laughs> and so it's like <sighs> every now and then i look back it's just he's, like... just, he's just stepping on every twig <laughs> yeah. and like instead of just like oh well maybe that's a snake or maybe something's just you can like hear that is a foot that is a foot that way yeah <laughs> foot. right foot and <laughs> He gives you a thumbs up anytime you look at him and just like. And I just like. <laughs> keep going. And uh, you're able to follow the tracks to the river where there is a sign of a camp. Um, no one is at the camp, but there is a burnt out fire and a couple tents. They are fairly large tents. So does it look like the tents have been, does it look like all this has been abandoned or does this look like they've gone out and could come back kind of thing? Like, is there belong- are belongings there? Um, there do not seem to be belongings uh, outside of the tents. You can roll an investigation to see if you think that the people yeah. are gone gone or just gone for a sec. They're BRBing. I would like to join this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> We're all out of luck now. <laughs> they might actually just be asleep in the tents. Yeah. <laughs> in the middle of the day. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, four. Uh, 
Uh, they possibly are in the water right now with little pipes <laughs> sticking out, just waiting for the right time. I'm to sort of like creeping up on the tent with my stick, and I just like, ha ha! <laughs> sort of like hit down the middle and try and crush what's ever in the tent. Uh, you you hit it. And uh, no sound comes out. Um, it's just sort of a, a, a flopping sound. <laughs> and evidently there's either no one inside or someone dead inside. <laughs> it's like, I think the coast is clear. As so I'm like lifting up the canvas to see if there's any, what, what I killed effectively, if there's anything in there. Um, a, a rather alarmed spider scuttles out, but there is nothing <laughs> else inside of the tent. Uh, there is a bedroll and there are like crumbs of rations but no like eating stuff eating utensils no bowls or plates no book no matches i'm taking that bedroll okay. <laughs> we haven't got many blankets i'm gonna go in there just stop <laughs> like rolling it up zephyr's gonna take you said there were, there were like what three tents uh, Zephyr's going to take a look into one of the unbashed tents. Um, there, are, It's much the same. Um, there's a lot of hair in your tent. Um, and otherwise, just a bedroll and some crumbs. And the third tent's the same? The third tent, there's uh, decidedly less hair. Um, there are two bedrolls. And... There, that canvas actually has some holes like slashed into the sides of it. Hmm. This one's got slashes in it. Slashes? Yeah, like somebody was cutting it. What, like an attack? And I pull up my stuff again. I don't know. And Zephyr's uh, gonna look around. Like outside, I mean, I'm assuming he didn't, he didn't see anything inside the tent, so he's going to look around outside the tent to see if there's any sign and pack. There's no blood. Uh, uh, a bird chirping. Uh, would you like to roll another investigation? I'll make the roll. <laughs> I believe in you. Okay, so as you step out and you start peering at it, and you've seen like damage to sails you've seen canvas before and you can tell that this was from the inside out that it was slashed not from the outside in i think this was done from the inside like they were poking out what to get out or something that was attacking i don't know hmm. does it look <laughs> like does it look like there's a pattern to it or is it just like a random stabbing it seems to be random stabbings. Um, it looks like it was done like very purposefully. It's not just like, oh, some are kind of thin and then break through. And like, it's not like someone was sleepwalking and like, or, or like drunk or something. It looks like someone who knew how to use a sword was stabbing and slashing, but not in like a, haha, Zoro sort of way, <laughs> just in a panic. Possibly. Hmm. Someone who knew that what they were doing in stabbing their tent. This is weird. Do you think we should hide and wait for them to come back? I don't know. I feel like we should press on because we don't know how, many, how much time Winnie has. Yeah, that's true. Um, do I, looking around to Zephyr and see any tracks or anything um, you know, in any direction away from the camp that oh, not from the direction that we arrived at the camp from. No, the only tracks seem to be going into camp. Hmm. I don't see any other tracks anywhere. Zephyrin is going to look up. <laughs> <laughs> into, into the trees. The, yeah. um, as you look up, you see a figure crouched in the tree, staring back down at you. Pretty far up. <laughs> Hang on, so do we both see this as we're looking? Yeah. I, I slowly reach down and get a rock. <laughs> I just like <laughs> on the side and pick it up in my hand. I see you. 
is now a good time to light the tree on fire? <laughs> Does this person say anything? Uh, as you pick up the rock, a finger extends out from the cloak and waves at you. I'm throwing the rock. <laughs> throwing the rock. They're wearing a cloak. I'm throwing the rock. Okay, go ahead and make a roll for it. Advantage! What am I I'm rolling? <laughs> athletics or something? Or? Uh, yeah. Yeah, athletics would do fine. <laughs> <laughs> you wing the rock. Um, and as the rock starts to come near this person, they point at it and it just shatters. And if no one stops him, like, Rona's been down to get a bigger rock. Like, it's that sort of... He's, but he's, he's not out. throwing it, but <laughs> he's like... We want our friend and our family back. Who are you? Fiend? <laughs> like, a cloaked fiend who sits in a tree? I'm waiting. It comes back. For what? For a sign. I just know I'm supposed to wait here. For what kind of sign? Someone's coming. I mean, we've arrived. It's not you. How do you know? Because <laughs> I know everything. You don't know what wait. the sign is though, do you? <laughs> like, <laughs> sort of like staring back up, like drops the rock and he's got his hands on it, like his paws on his waist. Well, I know it's not you. Was it him? And he pulls Zephyrin over and is like... Would Zephyrin recognize this voice at all? Or anything um, about this person? This figure? Um, perhaps. It sounds familiar. It's hard to place. Um, you can roll an insight. Try. Yeah, as you're as you're looking up, you're like, this is the voice. I've heard it in the Feywild before. But there's a different sort of tone to it. It kind of sounds like Winnie, but not Winnie. Zephyrin Zephyrin kind of pulls Ronan in a little closer. I think that's other I think that's bad Winnie. Bad Winnie? What to ask? It sounds like it sounds like Winnie, but like different. I, I think it might be the other version. Don't you know it's rude to whisper in front of people? They will just get yelled. See, it's Can totally I, like... Winnie. <laughs> I'm just okay. sitting in this tree minding my own business. You're spying on us. That is rude. You're spying on my camp. That's rude. You have three tents for one person? Yes. A bit greedy. <laughs> Are you? He sort of looks at Zephyr and almost like for confirmation, then shrugs. Are you Winnie? That's not my name. W what is your name then? I haven't picked it yet, but it's going to be great. You haven't picked it. Well, why don't you have a name? It's a big decision. You have to put a lot of thought into it. You don't want to pick the wrong name. It is, but like, what do people call you at the moment? Not much of anything. Um, I do suggest you come down, though, because my friend looks pretty interested in setting the tree on fire. That would be pretty foolish. Yeah, so because... sitting in a tree, to be honest, like, <laughs> sort of looking up. You have a great vantage point from up here. Do you, though? Yes. She is pretty high up. I mean, she can see pretty far up there. Fable would like to start climbing the tree. <laughs> Okay, making an athletic acrobatics. I'm gonna acrobatics. make sure that she doesn't see Fable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rona, make me a performance. <laughs> okay. Let's keep up the trend. <laughs> I think Zephyr's gonna, <laughs> gonna keep trying to talk to her and, and just, he's, he's, why did you attack Rofeld? So, as, <laughs> I'm like, da, 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 da. <laughs> right, you're like trying to like gesture, but it seems like every gesture is just sort of like towards. 
<laughs> as Fable is climbing. <laughs> you're making kind of slow progress. This isn't really your forte and the branches keep snapping off, but you're making some some progress. And she looks down at Zephyrin and she says, that's pretty presumptuous of you. You don't even know me. God, you're so rude. Oh my gosh. She's grumpy. <laughs> like, it looks as so different. <laughs> Fable, here. Uh, can I hear what Ronan just said? <laughs> I'm going to yell up, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Me? How old am I? You don't just ask yeah. someone that. Yeah, I can. I just mm -hmm. did. Well, if we don't know your name, we need to know your age, right? Work with us here. Like, well, probably about two months. Well, oh, there goes our theory, Ronan. <laughs> Wait, you're not a baby. Neither are you. Well, I'm a lot older than two months. Listen to your elders. Get Do down. Two months and you haven't chosen a name? It's a very big choice. I know. I just, do you have any ideas? Maybe I could help. <laughs> I kind of like Penelope. No, oh, that is a good name. Like, and the second name, or are we just going first names here? Those are a lot of names. And you don't want to pick something where your initials spell something stupid. He stops thinking about his own <laughs> name. He's like, wait. <laughs> Don't want to end up like P or something for my initials. Well, I mean, if that's as big a world problem for you, I think you'll be all right. Well, apparently having a name is very important to everybody. Well, who else do I call you other than cloaked figure sitting in a tree? You can call me cloaked figure sitting in a tree for the rest Fine. of my time here. Cloaked figure sitting in a tree. Please, will you cooperate? What do you and want? why are there stab marks in your tent? Practice. Is Fable still going? <laughs> Fable's getting close. Uh, she looks down, she says, that wasn't me. Practice. You stabbed your tent? Not me. Well, who then? Practice. Okay, I know we're having is... a little communication struggle here, but there's got to be someone involved. <laughs> yes, practice. It's... Wait, is this oh, your friend so, wait, practice? <laughs> is, that's his that's his name or is it what he was doing? Oh my god. Yes, both. His name is practice. Yes. So you're gonna be practice. Penelope and practice. Alright, I can't pick Penelope now. <laughs> <laughs> what if you See? named yourself flamethrower? Cloaked? <laughs> I love you've tried to be subtle and you're like, what about? <laughs> At this point, Fable, you're about the right height to like hook your leg over the branch that this figure is sitting on. Oh, I'm going for it. Um, Flamethrower sounds like a really stupid name. But if... practice doesn't. <laughs> I didn't pick that name. That's a terrible name. Well, practice. Penelope sounds so delicate. What does delicate mean? <laughs> I mean, Are you maybe delicate? You could, maybe you could get him to change his name. And Zephyr looks at the tent and he just he starts to wonder if maybe practice is his older self. <laughs> and he kind of gets a little disappointed. <laughs> like, would I really would I really come up with a name that bad? <laughs> Wait, how many of you are there? There's practice, there's flamethrower the great, which I'm gonna call you that from now on. Or or possible Penelope. Alliteration. I learned that in class. Well, actually, you know, Winnie taught me it, but. Okay, so not Penelope. I've ruled that one out. I like Winnie, Penelope. Like me, but feistier. Why are you on my branch? Why are you in the tree? <laughs> I'm waiting. For who? <laughs> A sign, Ronan! <laughs> yeah, but is the sign practice? <laughs> no. Maybe. Is there anyone else other than practice? There's three tents. What do you care? 
because I'm very confused right now and having a conversation with cloaked figure in a tree. We're and I'd looking... like to know some answers because my friend is in trouble. Who does have a name? Yeah, we're looking for our friend and we're just, we're just, we just want to find her and bring her home. Um, there's just one of me now. The rest of them left. Where did they go? Back home. Where is home? In the Feywild. So, wh- why are you staying here perched on a branch like a bird? Because I'm waiting to go back. I went back for a minute, and then suddenly I was back over here. It doesn't make any sense. I just want to go back to where everything makes sense. I say well makes sense. Oh my. <laughs> there's order, there's a queen, there's rule, and it all makes sense. Not like this place. I would like... <laughs> is really bored with this person in the tree and really would like the person to not be in the tree so I would like to tackle us both out of the tree and then cast feather fall. <laughs> On both of you or just you? Both of us. <laughs> I'm not trying to kill her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and make an acrobatics or athletics. Bad. Like, nope. Well... <laughs> Can I aid and shake the tree? <laughs> like, just... Uh, yes. Yay! Do I need to roll athletics? Yes. <laughs> Yay! So, Fable, you like kind of grab, and she kind of pushes back, and you're sort of locked like this. And, like, and then I got you. I got you. <laughs> and you both fall out of this tree. And um, you cast Feather Fall as you fall and drift down and she lands and does the head to the side. She's being very careful to keep her her hood down as much as possible. Okay, I'm not figuring a tree. What are you going to call me now? Figure on the ground. Stupid. Ooh, grumpy. (laughs) Fable would like to try to remove the hood. (laughs) Um, she's quite a bit taller than you. Well, she's a little taller than you. Um, make me a sleight of hand. <laughs> so as she's looking over in Ronan's direction and being vaguely condescending, you pluck the back of the hood and just... And it flies back... Um, just, enough to see her face before she grabs it and pulls it back down and you're able to see what looks like adult Winnie um, with these brilliant rainbow eyes staring out at you and she pulls it back down pizza (laughs) and I run over and I grab the shoulders and just (laughs) straight to the eyes (laughs) and into Fable's eyes or into the hooded figure into in the tree? Into hooded figure's eyes. I, I, if I have to stick my head in that hood, I'm doing it. <laughs> so you're you're a bit taller and you're, you're able to get your face in there and you stare into her eyes and she stares back into yours and just licks your nose. <laughs> I'm going to keep my eye contact and lick her back. <laughs> I'm going to make this as uncomfortable as possible. <laughs> She snorts and gives you a little <laughs> shove and says, you're weird. I'm weird. <laughs> I wasn't the one just saying a tree. Anyway, you're Winnie. I'm not Winnie. That's a stupid name. Was that short for Winifred? Oh, I'm so going to tell our Winnie that. Oh, no. Our Winnie would be smarter than that. Yeah, she's really cool. Well, if I remind her of, if I remind you of her, then I must be cool too, right? No, no this. I mean, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, well, you're taller. You don't have a name. You're sat in a tree. It, there's a lot that is different, but you know. So, you said that you were in the Feywild, and then you just suddenly appeared back 
in this realm? Right. Zephyrin turn, looks at the looks at um, Ronan, Fable, and uh, uh, the other two, and just says, "Do you think maybe that's because our Winnie got taken to the Feywild? Do you think like I mean, can can we not exist in the same realm no, at the same see, time? No, we had a plan. He had a plan. Who had a plan? He was supposed to. No one." Was it practice? <laughs> no, <laughs> it wasn't practice. You have a crush on practice. Why is no. every all, why do all people older have a weird head wobble when they get Larry? Can I insight check <laughs> on, the, on, the, the, on the practice crush? Yes. <laughs> you no, know, my mom said that people have cooties, and so you're not supposed to like them. It's true. Booty's You're not supposed to like other people. That's stupid. Well, like, you know how sometimes people kiss? That's how you get cooties. So be careful with practice. He's probably up to no good. And practice doesn't make perfect. <laughs> I know it. Maybe practice was made perfect. <gasps> Maybe I'll get married and have a baby named perfect. <laughs> then practice will make perfect. <laughs> Oh. I get that. <laughs> like Ronan is literally like, that's genius, Fable. <laughs> um she she blushes slightly and looks vaguely annoyed at the same time and uh, <laughs> kind of like mm. and she's totally got a crush on him. Look, it wasn't practice. And then and I think I think when when Zephyr says that, like he kind of flushes too, just because of like the realization of like the, the parallel and he, <laughs> and he gets very quiet all of a sudden whereas Raiden is like <laughs> like a zephyr like <laughs> what 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 very innocent perspective of this <laughs> now the in practice sitting in a tree like looks at the top it's like <laughs> perfectly he wasn't in the tree with me. Evidently. He looks up into the branches. God, you're such... I don't know why I'm talking to children about this. How old are you? Two months. But I'm obviously older than you. See, oh, that's yeah. where I think you're wrong. Because our Winnie would be smart enough to know that two months is younger than what we are. Well, I don't know how old you are, but look at me. I'm clearly an adult. <laughs> I mean, I can see the effort you're putting into it. But anyone can look like an adult now. I did about two days ago. Yeah, right. Yeah. And we kind of right. all did after we got, after we had to go into that river. A river. It, yeah, it's just Fey a river. <laughs> it, it, that, but in the Feywild. Mm -hmm. mm. I've heard of that river before, but I've never been there. <gasps> Maybe you'll reverse. What, and get younger? Yeah. Why would I want to do that? It's cool being younger. Young Why would I want to? Because we're cool. <laughs> Right. Look, I'm just gonna stay here until Myth gets back. Myth? Who's yeah. Myth? He's my friend. All right. It's just like a practice friend because mom said that you can only like one person at a time. Practice friend. So if it doesn't work with practice, <laughs> <laughs> you go on to Myth. Wait, 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 wait. So, Myth. Myth isn't one of us, and she gestures to the tent. It's the queen's lapdog. Well, who's one of us then? My friends and I. Yeah, but who are your friends? If one of them clearly has a name, do any of the others yet? Yeah? Yes. They are in mid sentence, she just stops and freezes, and then there's a blinding light 
and as it expands out and retracts back, your Winnie is stood in front of you, tied up, looking very shaken, but conscious and seemingly unharmed. And that's where we're going to stop. Yay! <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I'm sorry we would have spoken to that girl. <laughs> like, fight me. Anyway, <laughs> thank you very much. Please check out all the links coming up in chat now. That includes our Discord, uh, way that you can find um, a room just for this uh, channel if you want to go and check it out. Twitter, drop a DM if you want to get in a game. And if you've missed out on anything, please head over to YouTube. A, um, a huge, huge thank you to our wonderful sponsors in the form of Mage Hand Press, Hero Forge, and the Deck of Many, who we could not do this without. They've got all got some seriously amazing uh, things going on over there, so check all of them out. Otherwise, until next week, and hopefully we don't argue with this, Winnie. <laughs> See you later. Bye! Oh, we're gonna raid Ren! She's just, um, like, they're just starting a new channel, so send lots of love over there. So please head over there. See you in a minute. Bye. <laughs>